Hello and welcome. Thanks for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover, and check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's get to it. We are looking at dynamic routing today. And what dynamic routing is, it is a dynamic value that you're using to create a route where the name of the route is going to be whatever that dynamic value is. And the reason why we would do that is because it provides improved performance, better scalability, you get a bit more flexibility in your application, and then it also allows uh, to improve your overall security because you can route through additional layers of authentication and encryption if you'd like. So I have this skeleton application. I haven't really done anything other than add my, my base styles that I prefer. And I threw a link, but we'll, we'll finish this out together. There's nothing behind it. Inside of our project structure here, uh, this is what we're looking at right now. Let's just go ahead and get in so that you guys can see an example and it will hopefully all make sense to you. Inside of routes, let's create a new folder and let's call this one base. This is not our home page. Let me just point that out. Our home page is in the base routes. I just like to call this base. So inside of base, let's create a new couple of new files. We're going to need a plus page.svelte. And we're also going to need a plus page.js. And inside of the plus page.svelte, just inside of base, let's make a script. And all we're going to do here is export let data. We are going to use this to pull in from our load function. And then let's make a little h1. It just says, welcome to slash base. Choose a link to see a slug. And all a slug is, is just the dynamic value that you're using. It's not the insect. <laughs> Let's do uh, items as choice. We're gonna give users a choice on what slug they'd like to see. And then inside of here, let's make a div. And inside of the div, a p tag. And in here, we'll let's just say choice.txt. And right below that, let's make a link. href equal to and this is going to be a string literal. And what we want is slash base slash dollar sign brackets choice dot name. And this will make sense in just a moment. And then let's close that off. And then in here, we're going to do the same thing. So brackets choice dot name. And we'll just set up some dummy values in our load function. And then let's make a little style just so that we can see this, let's do H1 and P, and we'll just do color of white. And then let's do an A tag and make this that red. Uh, in fact, I'll just pull this from here. All right, so let's give that a save. And then inside of our plus page.js, we're just going to create some fake values, so const values. Now, I'm doing this for simplicity's sake, but this would most likely be data that you're loading from a database, and each of these would be something you're pulling. I just want to show you the, the concept here, so let's keep things simple. So we have a name, and this will be slug1, and let's say text, and I'll say I am text from slug, whoops, slug one and I am cool. And then let's make another, let's copy this. Let's just make a few more of these. So let's paste that a couple times. I always like to leave my array here with the ending semicolon to make it easy to see what's going on. Let's call this slug two. Say I am text from slug two. 
and I am cool as well. And then we, let's make this slug three and say, I am text from slug three and I am not <laughs> very cool, but you can click me anyways. All right. And then let's just export our load function, export function load. And we're not needing anything here, so we don't need to pull anything out of the request. And then we're just going to return object items, and that's going to be equal to values like that. So now if we go to our home page and click base, here we have our slash base. And then we just have rendered out one div and paragraph and link for each slug. And again, we're pretending that those are values loaded from a database. I didn't want to bog this video down with that. So then inside of base, let's create another folder, right? A child route. And this is going to be bracket slug bracket. And inside of here, we are going to have two files, and you guessed it, a plus page dot svelte and a plus page dot js. Since we're in here, let's just do this one first. And this is super straightforward. Export function load. And here we are going to need the params. And this is the params out of the request. So event dot request dot params is actually where this is coming from. Uh, I've pointed out in several videos what all is available in event. It's extensive. This is one of the many things that are available. And title here is going to be params.slug. Like that. Give that a save. And now in our plus page.svelte, what we're going to do here is let's create a script. And again, export let data. This is how we're getting our load function data. And then let's make an h1. Just says your slug choice is dot, dot, dot. And then data dot title. And why not? Let's give ourselves a link back, a href to slash base. And I'm going to say back to base. And let's go ahead and copy our styles out of here. And we can get rid of the P since we don't have any paragraphs here. OK, so now we have implemented our slug page. This is our dynamic route. And if we come into our application here, we are now at uh, slash base, and if I click this link, this is going to take me to slug1. And you can see here our URL changed. We are at this new URL, and here is that page. Your slug choice is slug1. And if we go back, we can choose slug2, and here we have that dynamic route slug percent sign 202 and then if we go back one more time we can click this one that's not very cool <laughs> just to see it a third time uh, the slug slug choice is three so that's pretty cool stuff that's how we implement dynamic routes it's pretty straightforward and that data is available in event.request.params if you are curious as to what all is in event uh, as I've shown before, you can put event in here and print out console.log the whole thing and see that it is a rather extensive list of items available inside of a uh, inside of an event. So this is a quick video on how to implement dynamic routes using uh, that those slugs and why you would want to do them again is because it improves the scalability of your application. It lets you fine tune your requests in routing those to where exactly you want them to go. And it improves the security because you can 
uh, add in additional layers of authentication and encryption. So that is how we implement uh, dynamic routing. Super straightforward in SvelteKit. I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Mm -hmm.